a former champion had to muscle his way to his only win in the greatest race in the history of spring. Auburn, Massachusetts driver Jeff Fuller has always possessed a love for racing, first as a fan and then as a driver. He began his racing career in the 1970s at the now defunct Westboro Speedway and the Thompson Speedway, driving late model stock cars. Fuller got the break he was looking for in 1979, taking over the Tom Dunn-owned Pinto Station Wagon Modified. The success was instantaneous, winning the 1979 and 1981 track titles at Westboro. The next several years would see another successful pairing between Fuller and car owner Jack Neusner, winning multiple times during the 1985 and 86 seasons on the NASCAR Modified Tour. Neusner would then connect Fuller to Scott and Patty Banzel to drive the Sheba Racing No. 8 car. The team carried Fuller to 26 NASCAR Modified wins and the 1992 championship. Of those 26 victories, five took place at Stafford Speedway, including his lone Spring Sizzler win in 1991. Although Fuller led the final 82 laps, it wasn't easy. Manhandling the car without power steering over the final 45 circuits while holding off a hard-charging Wayne Anderson at the finish. After taking the checkered flag, Fuller said in victory lane that the Sizzler win was, quote, the win I've always wanted. His final Stafford triumph came in August of 1994, Jeff's final full-time campaign in the Modifieds. Fuller then traveled south to race in what was then the NASCAR Bush Series for JTG Racing, winning once in 1996 at the Bristol Motor Speedway. The 51st running of the Napa Spring Sizzler is set for Sunday, April 30th, 2023, while the Napa Auto Parts dual qualifying races will be held on Saturday, April 29th. Purchase your tickets now at StaffordSpeedway.com.